newsroom right now. And Kim, Democrats are keeping their message simple. Hi, Karen. Good afternoon. The Democrats' current mantra seems to be help is here. They're also claiming even though Congress is divided, Americans are united in their support for the new law and what it does. The bill was supported overwhelmingly by the American people, Democrats, independents, and Republicans, and had a strong support of governors and mayors across the country in both parties, red states and blues. You may remember the president actually signed the COVID relief bill yesterday. Then last night he spoke to the nation in a primetime address saying he wants all adults to be eligible for the vaccine by May 1st. Michigan would be well ahead of that goal with the announcement we mentioned earlier. The president cautions though there could be setbacks, but he's hoping we could have smaller gatherings to celebrate the 4th of July and our independence from COVID-19. So up next, the president and vice president will hit the road to promote the new law. Vice President Harris will be in Las Vegas Monday and the president will be in Pennsylvania the next day. We'll have more from Washington on what comes next when you join us for Local 4 News at 5.